Welcome to our channel. Today we're going to talk about how to lodge your tax return in Australia by yourself without spending any money to your tax agent. Um, so just watch the video till the end and we'll go through step by step. So first step, you need to have a MyGov account. If you don't, then just go to MyGov website and follow the simple instructions. So once you have set up your MyGov account, you need to link your MyGov account to the ATO office. So once you link your ATO to the MyGov account, it should show up in the MyGov website like this. You just need to click that ATO. So once you get to the ATO website, uh, you just need to click on the tax button on the top left hand corner and go to the lodgements and income tax. That will take you to this website, this side on, on the ATO website where you need to fill your uh, the personal details here. So just go through the all the questionnaires here and uh, click on the lodge button. So the next step is your contact details. Um, so make sure you put in your right number and um, current address. Um, so a lot of people get confused in this particular question where it says were you an Australian resident for tax purposes. So with this question you need to answer yes, um, even though you're not Australian resident, but you are an Australian resident for tax purposes. And after that just fill in the few more details here and click next. So you'll get to this page where you can, you can see your income and the tax you paid. And also you can see the tabs here where you can put your deductions or you can say claims. So just click on the add or edit button on the right hand side of deductions tab which will take you to this another page where you can put in your all the claims. So before you put in your expenses I would like to let you guys know that what you can claim and what you can't claim. So you can get the detailed information in the ATO website as well. For the quick reference um, it's all the expenses has to be work related. So, for example, travel between the work, uh, work uniform, union fees. If you have two or more work, you can claim travel expenses by clicking the tab here, add button, and just put the description and the amount you've used um, for the whole year. Not claim any travel expenses if you're only working one job. You can also claim any stationaries that you use for work. If you use a mobile phone for work, then you, you can claim the expense for that as well. Um, just go through the all the tabs here and fill in your all the details of your expenses. So another section that a lot of people get confused, especially international students, is this section called Medicare and Private Insurance. So if you are an international student or foreign resident, then you'll get Medicare levy exemption. So you just need to click on this tab called Add. It will get you to the another page where you can put your details of private health. Do not forget to click yes in this category. So after you fill in the details, just click save and continue. It will get you back to the previous page. After that, you just click on the calculate button here and it will give you the estimated tax return. And after that, you can lodge your tax return to the ATO office. So that's all for today. I hope that's beneficial for you guys. If you have any questions, um, just put down in the comments below and I'm happy to help.